So welcome to my Lesson Zero beginning tutorial for modding Halo Custom Edition. The first thing you're going to want to do is install the Halo Editing Kit, HEK. And once you do, your Halo Custom Edition directory will look like so. It'll have a Tags folder, and that's the most important folder, and you'll find out why later on. Uh, also important is that you update Halo Custom Edition. That will make it much easier for a future process. This is only one update, so it shouldn't take that long. And it's uh, it's a step that a lot of people forget after installing Halo Custom Edition. Uh, now you're also going to want to put a shortcut to the command prompt. And that is to run tool, one of the many steps it is to create a Halo map. And here's tool right here, tool.exe. What that does, it'll take your uh, 3D files and your sound files, your pictures, and it'll convert it into specialized files that Halo can actually use. Those are called tags, which is why that tag directory is so important. So you're going to see it right here. If you try to run tool here, you can actually see all the commands you have here, all the uh, different folders and all the different files you can make with uh, tool. Now, we're going to go back down here show you that to use any of these you type in tool to run tool the command you want so when here you can't actually see it's cut off but like zoner's model upgrade that's one of them right towards the bottom and then the name of the map you want to use so for instance one of the common ones you're going to want to use is tool uh, structure that's the first step to making an actual map is tool structure and then the name of the map you want to use and tool bitmaps for all the uh, faces, all the colors you want to use, and finally build cache file to actually turn it into a map file that Halo can use. And like I said, this is just a brief overview of all the uh, all the tools you're going to use later on. So by no means is this comprehensive. It's just a quick show off of the three main steps that you're going to need. So the first main step would be tool. The second big step to creating any Halo map is Gorilla. And what this will do is take those tags that you had, or actually create a tag without using tool, and it'll allow you to edit properties of them. So if you make a vehicle using tool, this will allow you to edit its speed and its size and whatever. So let's go down here and show you uh, how about a weapon. And you can see here it'll build up a new kind of properties list of things. You can change a bunch of stuff about it. It's bounding radius in world units. Those are a special halo unit. It's about the height of Master Chief. Uh, you can change its model, its animation. Collision model is pretty much the same as model, only you can have different permutations. So you can actually have like a broken gun or a broken etc. Uh, so after you go to the gorilla and edit those tags, you want to go to Sapien. This is the third step. So I said there are three main steps. This is the third one. It actually takes a while to load, so let's skip on over to when it loads. It'll take less time if you have a simple map, which is what we're going to make in the beginner tutorial, but my map is a bit more complicated despite its small size. So you can see here, this is my map loaded in Sapien. Uh, for those of you who use uh, Halo 3 or Halo Reach, uh, the Forge mode, yeah, this is this slightly resembles Forge. You don't have any of the limitations of Forge where you can only go where there are actual things. Like, you can go through walls in this mode, and you can go way out of the map or way into the map. Like, right here, I'm going through the ceiling. Uh, just like Forge, you can place items, you can edit items' properties. And you can actually move much, much faster than you can in Forge. So I like it a lot. I think it's very convenient for building stuff. And the best part is it loads with all the Halo graphics. So anything you place, you can see exactly how it will render in Halo. And here's one of the hallways I built. I just want to show right up here, this little crevice right here. Now, first map we're going to build in Beginner is not going to be anywhere this complicated or complex or anything like that. We're like we'll build up to that. 
so don't worry, don't freak out if you're really, really new to this. And if you're experienced, well, you shouldn't be watching this anyway. You should join me on advanced videos. Here is the output window. Uh, that's for scripts. I personally don't use scripts a lot. That's mostly for if you want to create a door switch that opens a door or an elevator switch that moves an elevator. Uh, we'll go into that later, I guess, in advanced. Uh, but for now, we're going to focus on the properties palette and the hierarchy view. You can see in the properties palette, there's that same gorilla kind of layout. And whatever you click in the hierarchy view is reflected in the properties palette. So right now I'm selecting one of my starting position. And I have it load in all games. So no matter what the game, that'll be a starting position. And you can see that I can edit the X, Y, and Z position of that starting position. So I can make it very specific where I want it. And where it will show up right here is that little diamond-like shape with the three axis on it. That'll allow you to move it... Uh, just with your mouse to place it where you want. So either way, I find the mouse, of course, more convenient, but. So just to show you what ends up happening, here's that test area I talked about. That's the uh, map I was showing off in Sapien. Uh, on the right, you see unknown level. Well, uh, that doesn't really matter. That just shows that it's a custom map. If it really bothers you, I'm sure there's a way to change it. So. And here we go. I have a note Slayer. at the bottom of the video explaining why I don't have an assault rifle showing up. Uh, not a big deal. Just wanted to explain that this is actually Halo. It's just the different kind of biped. And here's my map. I can walk around it, shoot stuff. I made the ground elite skin. I made my tower metal. That's all stuff you can edit in Gorilla. So, hope you liked it, and look at my other tutorials, find out how to make it.